Hey, what's the beat? This man, this Paris P from ADD. Shit, you listening to Mars on Deep Ellum on air? Shit, fuck with me. When pigs fly, baby. Shit. ADD, shit, man. You shit. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You listen to uh, shit. For real, though. Man, meet this nigga Mike, shit. man. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. This is the Mildly Abrasive Radio Show. This is the um, middle of September edition of the Mile Abrasive Word. Radio Show. That was just on the fucking spot. Yeah, we're going to come up with something better in, in the meantime. Anyway, in between time. Yes, I am Chris P., local celebrity. I am joined by Lils Holloman. I am. And Ray John Almighty. You're welcome. And wow. we have a bunch of shit going on tonight, huh? Hey, shit. Shit. Bunch of shit. Shout out to ADD. We went to their show uh, Wednesday night. That shit was great. That shit, shit was off the chain. Yes. Anyway, so what's been going on over the past week? Um, Somebody got married, and then right behind that got sentenced to jail. Isn't that the same thing? Uh, <laughs> I thought so, too. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it was, uh, it was vice versa. He got sentenced, <laughs> then he got married. Uh, shout out to Larry Austin and Dusty Trope Jack. I whoa, whoa, whoa. Dusty Throat what? Dusty, Dusty Throat Tro- Jack. The girl's name is Dusty Trojack. Dusty Throat. Anyway, so he got sentenced to wow. four years for uh for a firearm charge, and then right behind that, the judge that married them, which is uh Jerry Bass, decided that he was gonna go ahead and marry uh go ahead and marry them. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't want to lose touch. He being um Larry didn't want to lose touch with the kids <laughs> after in after the four years. So I mean, I guess that's one way to establish that your ass will be there afterwards, but. I mean, that's still mm-hmm. some old. You know what that means? What they do? Conjugal visits. Conjugal oh. visits. Yes. So what else has been going Coochie on? Cow. Um, In county. Uh, rapper Little Webby. It's not little. It's not little? It's well, no homo. But, uh, <laughs> How do you know it's Webby wow. is a little? The name is just straight up Webby. Oh, rapper Webby. Um, <laughs> didn't he just get out of jail? Um, Probably so. He just got, he, he wants to go back like he got a, boyfriend in there all right rapper webby was arrested wow. for a battery and robbery after allegedly kicking a woman down a flight of stairs and and taking 340 dollars from her pocketbook i guess the record sales ain't doing too well wow. um it's the later person. on later on the woman said you know her and webby are in a relationship that's been a little rocky and later on she said he never hit her and she wow. probably he probably you know threatened this, her so uh, this bitch just jumped directly into hitting after yeah yeah he, she said she said he didn't hit me i ran into his fist oh that was the full report on the police report she said oh um, she didn't even think yeah. of the cabinet she's creative yeah she yeah she's creative she said bitch. she accidentally fell into his fist it happens all the time yeah repeatedly. i mean he's trying to go that chris brown ride try to get some record sales huh? yeah, yeah yeah maybe yeah. maybe we'll get a tattoo of her busted ass face on his neck um, well, I think it only works if you be a famous woman. I don't oh. know. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently, if you tattoo a battered chick face on the side of your neck, they probably just gonna assume it's Rihanna. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, you know, it's. I, I try. But but it's only assault and battery if it's somebody famous. I see. Really? It's assault if it's. Yeah, not. yeah. The the media only gives a shit if it's somebody famous. I understand. I, I can dig that. So if, so if, if Webby wants to really get in the news, he needs to like beat up Janet Jackson or some shit. So since everybody's Janet talking Jackson? about going to jail. Uh, this dude named Hater Tomas. Hater. Oh. Hater. <laughs> hater. I should, I should have tell you everything, huh? <laughs> hater T. Um, he's a murder suspect from Detroit. He was arrested da- in Dallas on Friday after being pulled off a Greyhound bus near I-30 and Jim Miller. Damn. Uh, during his stay at Lou Starrett, he will be enjoying much better conditions than he experienced <laughs> on that Greyhound bus. And just like actually I was telling one of our viewers the other day, Greyhound is totally safe. And fugitive and fe- fugitives and felons are nowhere to be found at the Greyhound station. Already, yeah, nothing to be worried about. Hey, Rage. Huh? Do me a favor. Spell bitch. B i t c h. Spell bitch. B i t c h. Spell bitch. B i t c h. If kid, if you're watching, all right. Backstory. <laughs> Time pause. Out. Somebody decide. <laughs> really? Backstory. Yeah, keep pause? talking. Are you man. Go, go, go. Oh. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a kid in PA, Gruesome Nuts, decided he was going to um, vandalize a car. Yeah, Gruesome Nuts and decided nice. he was going to vandalize a car and steal a bike, right? Bitch. Right. Um, that's, what he de- that's what he left on the side of the car, except for, guess how he spelled it? How you spell it? Guess. B-I-T-C-H? B-I-C-T-H. Yes. Oh. Damn. Yeah, so the, uh, York, PA, or Philadelphia, for those who don't know what PA is, uh, PD is looking for some kid who can't spell. <laughs> you know for, what? For those of y'all don't know, y'all <laughs> that's, you know what? that's like the only description they have. Is like it's a vandal who can't spell. It's like well, maybe well, maybe they need to look for him in DISD. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. And it um anywho um, <laughs> Lupe Fiasco is just, just getting. Is that the punchline too? Yeah. <laughs> Lupe Fiasco. He's just fucking like um 
He's everybody. He, fucking everybody. Apparently, he's he's been, he apparently he just been pissing everybody off. He pissed um what was it met the magazine off? What is it Flex magazine? That's Wait, a magazine. Really? It does. I don't know. I whatever don't magazine. Know. I, don't, I don't read. Um, do what you do. Well, he pissed off you know, D.L. Hughley recently. How um, the fuck you piss off? You know, you know, you know, no, he did piss off. He did. You know, you know and, and it's, you know, so, he, you know the, we, we're right now, the election's coming up and everybody's getting all extra political. And Especially Nicki Minaj. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> so, you know, and I talked last week about, you know, voting and, you know, I don't, I, if you want to vote, go ahead. You know, me personally, I don't do the shit, you know, because, you know, we need chiefs and Indians. We need, you know, we need. Fighters and cowards, you know, so, and we need D.L. Hughley. So, um, D.L. Right Hughley is actually a known to Uncle Tom, but, you know, either way, really? you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, 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 Lupe Fiasco yeah. Um, stated his opinion on the voting in the system. We all, if you ever listened to Lupe Fiasco's music, then you're fully aware of how he feels. And then um, D.L. Hughley decided to interject or add his two cents about Lupe Fiasco. He said he bright as hell, but dumb in the weight of the world. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, uh. It, it stressed um, you, didn't it? Huh? It, it stressed you, didn't Pause? it? Pause. What? It stressed you. It stressed oh, me. Stressed. stressed. Not stressed stretched. It, no, no. Yeah, it, 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 did it did sound like bad. it sounded like it stressed? It, it did sound stressed. Sound stressed. <laughs> didn't um, it didn't affect me at all. Um, I'm sure it didn't affect Lupe either. He also said um, he, they, Obama does not need radical rappers chiming in for votes. He's true. He's right. Yes. True. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. You know, he nope. just, no. He needs um. That's why he just needs radical Jay-Z poets. Food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, now in some good news. What they do? Yeah, I got all this bad news. Uh, Kohl's, the sh- the store. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They announced this week that they're going to be hiring 800 seasonal positions to their one of, to their Work. 20 DFW locations. Um, so, to my unemployed friends, go get that money. And just remember, working in the opening shift on Black Friday may be more dangerous than what you are doing for money right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> true but at Touché. least you're, but at least you're getting so paid true. less for it oh i'm kidding um seriously no 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 seriously <laughs> you are getting paid less for it no no I'm uh, being serious. this time of year is a great time to get legit money if you haven't been plus i'm sure you'll get a discount so, so what do they sell at kohl's um i don't know kohl's. i know kohl's staples dicks but that's a, another story kohl's Whoa. staples Dicks? Yeah, speaking anyway, of staple on. dicks, I uh the <laughs> iPhone <laughs> five top uh, I am so lost in that, that segue was just like I'm not buying an iPhone five ever. <laughs> no, but they set a record uh in twenty four hours sitting up for two million dollars. Um you guys are fucking idiots. Two million dollars in twenty four hours for the iPhone five? Wow. Two million dollars too many anybody phone oh, two sorry, million before, phones. before I offend anybody you know what, I'm just gonna leave that shit alone. Mm. No, no, two million dollars for it in tw- within twenty four hours for the iPhone five. Wow, that doesn't even sound like a lot. Two mi- in twenty four hours. Yeah, twenty four hours. Yes. Anyway, four keep phones. Yes, keep going. Anyway, um, you know, what I'm saying I I was reading an article. It went how descriptive it was. It's got a, a four a four inch camera instead of the three. I'm not camera. Uh, screen instead of the four point five. Uh, it's faster. Just like Littles. <laughs> wow. That's oh. Not pause. I guess I'm upgraded. Anyway, wow. um, you know what I'm saying? It, the screen's so better for the movie. The calendar actually uh, adds has shows shows five days instead of three. I don't like these are just the the random ass things that it does. So you went and dropped six hundred dollars for a five day calendar and a point five inch screen. Anyway, it also gives hand jobs. I hope really? It does yeah. I hope virtual it does. hand jobs. Oh, Siri should talk nasty to you while she does it. Really? Nice. Yeah, it's kind of dope. Yeah. Nice. Get the keys stuck on your though. iPhone. Oh no! So what else has been going on? All right, you know, and so, you know, I got some more good news. Um, I got some local good news, some Dallas good news. Oh shit! Um, legendary performer, poet, and actor Saul Williams <laughs> will be in Dallas on the twenty fifth. Oh my God! Like this is this is like mind blowing news. Now you know if you don't know who Saul Williams is, <laughs> punch yourself in the fucking throat and then go to Google. Um, <laughs> And then go to Google, and you'll realize that he's a fucking hey, yo. megastar. Hey, yo, Chris, Google this um, <laughs> yeah, so he he'll be he'll be coming doing a show in Post. Dallas at the Sons of Herman Hall in Dallas, Texas, at Deep Ellum. And um, uh, where's the good news? That <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Get to really? the good news. That Please. is the good news. What the fuck? What the I know yeah, what no the good news is. The center of this bullshit. The, the, bullshit. You know, 
Just get to the point. Fuck, that is the point. Fuck, you know what? Oh, I thought I heard fuck, something yeah. else additional you know, you know, on top of that. It's, it's, it's shit on everything. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, somebody else is performing with them. That's the good news, right? I was performing. I forgot my computer's blacked out. Um, Oh, yeah. Rage All Motherfucking Mighty will be opening up for Saul Williams. Uh, the 25th at Herm- Sons of Herman Hall in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go to see, um, see Rage crash. Crash? Crash. Rage, Rage is impeccable on stage. You don't ever fail. I don't ever fail. I mean, even though I'm sitting at a pool of my own urine when I found out that I'm opening up for Saul Williams see? at see? this very moment. He might crash. You said the 25th. It's the 25th. Rage. September or October? Don't crash and burn. September. Okay, so no, next week. Fact, crash and burn and let's record it. No, hey, we actually we already have that that footage. <laughs> <laughs> if I crashed and burned, I'd just be the color of Littles. Oh. <laughs> so where's the show at again? Crashing and burning. <laughs> crashing yes, and crashing burning. Crashing and burning. Former Dallas Cowboys receiver Sam Hurd is now facing new federal charges. Go, Sam. After his plea deal fell through, he's facing four more charges after being rearrested in San Antonio Damn. for allegedly trying to buy over 100 pounds of weed and five kilos of cocaine. That's, that how, you that represent, that's how you represent well, that And it gets star, worse. Baby. And he's free on bail. Free yeah, damn, on bail. Sam. Call Nate Newton. Perhaps he can refer you to his lawyer, you know? Shit, Michael Irvin. The only thing we think of when we hear Nate Newton nowadays is massive weight loss, which I suspect was not caused by gastric bypass surgery, oh. but oh. by jailhouse food. So that's what it is? Oh. Yeah. So you just going to put... Yes. You just going to put any window out there? Oh, he said... He said jailhouse food. I didn't say he, get ra- he got raped. I didn't say he got yeah, raped Yeah, well, you, you just got rape on the mind. He's talking about bologna sandwiches. And those little packets of orange mix that you have to stir with your finger. He's in county. You were Rage knows. He's yeah. In, that's, that's Rage has done hard time. Yeah. Pause. Anyway, <laughs> so um, we got I, big shot. I, I, I still got my little packet of orange mix. You stole it? Yeah, I kept it. Where I, did you smuggle the motherfucker I kept, out I kept souvenirs when I left jail. I kept, I kept my boxes. <laughs> those weren't your boxers. Those those white boxes were comfortable. I kept my boxes. Yeah, because somebody about ten people broke them in before you got them. I, I yeah, was, yeah. I was about to say. And then the, also because I wasn't wearing any drawers when they got me. I was just about to say you couldn't have been wearing drawers if you walked yeah, in with boxes on, new boxes on. Nah, yeah, I wasn't really wearing new used underwear. boxes on. Look, look, they, they got they, they got me at a very 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 sensitive time. Um, Ray's like, where's I got, this blonde pubic hair? I think he was. I think he was humping everything. I was. <laughs> <At the time. laughs> and that's actually why I went to jail. Yes. Anyway, so we have a big show tonight. Uh, we have 730 in the building. Uh, we have fashion trends and other shit you're glad are gone. Hey. And we have a new song by Jay Rose called Fifth Element. Which what? we're going to play right now. Shit. Anyway, this is down. the Mindless of Radio Show. We'll be back in just a second. Chill. She's the fifth element. She's the fifth element. She's the fifth element. She's the fifth element. Okay. Who is this manner of woman that got me in this day? She's such a wonderful mystery. It's driving me crazy. In my mind, I call a baby. In real life, I am hoping this one day would be appropriate. I gotta have patience. Her hair blowing in the wind on a natural sh- She like my Jill Scott, except she don't sing a lick. But if you check my heart, you'll find traces of her fingerprints. She's wondering just like I'm wondering if this thing's legit. Because how quick our minds will get me both them been here before thinking that this one gonna be forever then they walk out the door repeat them steps enough times and the equation is a jaded love don't live here no more person fail relationships created i guess if we had a title then we kind of semi dating and the titles to only help the layman's when they relate in your heart i never play with when i'm with you time is sacred so say yes like flow with trees so i can be the one you stay with baby Yeah. 
got me in this trance, this extraterrestrial energy, unexplained super synergy. She walking, they talking about the way that she dressed. She smiles reluctantly, but still the compliment she accepts. Humility and confidence, a formula she perfects. So did he self absorbed foolishness is what she neglects. I promise, God took his time with her. He made her extra slow. She got that extra glow, perfectly perfected. Whoa, everything is just right from an L to a makeup, which she doesn't have to take up, cause she pretty when she wake up. She just a feminine time where she be rocking J's. At other times, it's Louis purses with the matching shades. Black don't crack, she don't look her age or rarity. These new millennium chicks, they don't compare to she. Life is a gift, the present she can share with me. You take that leap, I take it too. Now that seems fair to me. This is the My Liberation Radio Show. Hey. Um, that was hey. The Fifth Element by J. Rose. New track. Brand new shit. New shit. New yeah. shit. Anyway, Exclusive. this is the, um, I don't know, what, what episode is this? The Rage uh, got an opening gig for Saul Williams edition of the My Liberation Radio Show. You're welcome. Yes. Wow. So, P, I heard that it's about that time for something. What's uh, that? I don't know. You tell me. Ow. Now, bitch. Oh, no. Trick. Yeah. <laughs> That's the edited version. You know what I'm saying? So you when we get syndicated, you know, right. we'll just have that. We'll play that instead of you saying, oh, no, bitch. So oh, I just no, want to warn everybody right now, I didn't prepare shit. Wow. Um, Chris. Yes. Play disclaimer. All right, roll the disclaimer real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm about to make a lot of niggas, black people, wow. African-Americans, pissed off right wow. about now. Um, don't wow. you do that on a weekly basis? I try. I try so hard. <laughs> Your existence. Can't be that. mildly abrasive if you don't. All right. So, um, Chris, you, you know, I need a little bit of footage. You think you could try to? I got some audio for you. See if you can do that audio real quick. I want everybody to hear this real quick. Well, I had some audio. Come on, audio. Uh, 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 audio Ooh. base. All right. This my fifth element. Wow. Ooh, ooh. And it gets quiet and awkward. Get it my fifth element. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, yeah. Ooh, so, why don't ooh, you give us some backstory? Fifth pause. element. Backstory pause. All right. Um, <laughs> Here's how it goes down, to be truthful honest with you. I was walking through the house, making myself a fish sandwich. You know what I'm saying? A fish sandwich? Fish, fish sandwich. sandwich. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And a um, fish sandwich. I heard something on the news. It was actually Red Mouth Sharpton ran screaming and bitching about something that Mitt Romney said. Then they played the footage. Um, I kind of, I guess my on my on our bitch moment was kind of to myself because at first I wanted to be all pissed off about the video and everything, like, oh shit, he just said, I can't believe you said that. But then I thought about what the hell he said, right? And I was like, yeah, he pretty much telling his base the truth. So, um, oh god, uh oh, what he I, I was like, oh no, bitch, you side with Mitt. I was like, kind of. Um, the reason being, yeah, I answered myself when I talk to myself. Anyway, because no one else will. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the other. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's my little effect. That is it. Fucking technical. She's my fifth element. Here we go. Work. All right, y'all check this out real quick. If this is what this dude, Mitt Romney, said. Turn, turn down. Oh, here we go. Uh, over here, 47% of the So. Okay. 
Now, with that point said, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know about this whole 47% shit. Recap I mean, it for them in case they couldn't understand what he was saying. Okay. What he's pretty much saying is there's 40% of the people of the population of the United States that's going to vote for the president no matter what because they believe that they should be dependent on their uh, the health care should be taken care of for them, the housing should be taken care of for them, the food should be taken care of for them. Somebody should come wipe their ass with a t- uh, nice, moist toilet. That would be and lovely. Wouldn't it? Yes. Wouldn't wow. it? And after you skeet um, in some lady's hairline, a hairdresser come through for free and clean her shit up. Fuck See, her. Wa- after you skeet. Yeah. You ain't skeeting in some chick's baby hairs? In her lace front. Lace front? Yeah. Oh, I bet that was a sticky situation. Not my problem. Right. Uh, anyway. anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? As we went into, um, as I was sitting there listening to it, I started to get offended because, you know what I'm saying? I know, he, you know he's talking about the 90, part of that 99% of the people who were raising hell earlier this year. Was it earlier this year or last year? Last year, wasn't it? A little bit of everything. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? It kind of rolled over. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, uh, Rising Minutes. No. Anyway. No. No. They don't wah, wah, wah. I tried. I tried. I tried. Sigh. Anyway, so. um. <laughs> <laughs> I started to get upset about it because, you know what I'm saying, of course, I fall in that 99%, which falls in that 49%, because I'm going to vote for Obama no matter what. That's just kind of what it is. I mean, I believe in his policies because I've listened to him, but I know there's people that's going to follow blindly. Um, I guess my uh, ambition moment was for me is him having a realization in front of his base that, hey, we're not going to fucking win. Now, here's the tricky part about that. Just because he admitted to his base that they're not going to win, they're still going to try, and everybody still has to go vote. Um, I don't think he said he wasn't going to win. He's not going to win. I don't think that's what he said. 47% that's already going to automatically vote for the president. Now, you're looking at... You need 50.1%. Anyway. That means the president just needs 3.1%. He needs 3.1%? Anyway, keep going. 47. Anyway. Wow. I think I just got that. Anyway. (laughs) Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so what's the all not bitch moment? The all not bitch moment was um, me actually realizing, like, you know what I'm saying? He's telling the truth, but um, it's, a, it's a trick in there because we got to get people like trick. Rage. Yeah, just like Rage. Yeah, fuck Rage. A tr- rage is to a vote? trick? Yes. Cox, so what the fuck am I going <laughs> to vote for? <laughs> see? See? Now, everybody. You know what? Now, you know, here's my problem. Here's my right, problem. Let's, 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 it's like saying, hey, we need to get some atheists and tell them to go to church. The fuck? <laughs> hey, Christians do it all the time. We do. Yeah, and, and you know, you're taking a real Christian approach to getting motherfuckers to vote. Well, I mean, let's if you don't let's, vote, you're going to hell. Let's, no, I'm not saying you're going to hell. I'm just saying that the, the, uh, Ryan, the Ryan Romney plan is not the one for you. And if you believe that, if you believe that it's not for you, you would at least mark a ballot. Against some shit like that. That's you're not going to convince Rage Almighty to vote. Yeah, you're not. Like, you know, hey, he won't even vote for American Idol. Yeah, I, I, no, he no, won't even vote he, for his he, own he, track he, on he a coast to coast mixtape. He said last tape. time he voted for <laughs> Ruben Stutter, so somebody did. moved him. He said, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I voted for Ruben Stutter, actually. So, really? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Even <laughs> though my co host Rage chooses not to, which He's is, thinking himself don't and that's touch his American right, which is retarded. Oh, my God. Um, You know what I'm saying? He said my American right. So that way, you know what I'm saying? You don't get caught in this. This old bullshit ass some um, Kevin account elect uh, count uh, poll votes over again. Pause, Chris. Poll votes. Yes, pause. I poll pause votes. Poll vote. What are you? Cause what you, are you, you talking you about? Like the Olympics? Poll no, vote? No, no, not poll vault. Poll vault. <laughs> <laughs> poll votes. You know what I'm saying? When they everybody goes and the electric college and all that good shit. I know I, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking you know, about. You don't know how that shit works. No, I don't. God damn, Chris. Anyway, so we have some new music. New shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris Blount. Blount, Blount, Chris who? Blount, Blount, Chris yeah. Brown. Yes, Chris Brown. Yes. No, this so song Chris is called Blount. "Waiting," and, and this is the Miley Cyrus verse. We'll be right back. There you go. Yeah. Comes a time you gotta answer that calling. Sorry to keep y'all waiting. Coming home from Nola just to hook back up with my crew. Came a long way from pushing carts in high school. Sun's at his pinnacle now, so call him high noon. And it came right on time. You know I gotta do. Got sick of standing in line waiting on my cue. So I took time to work on making these rhymes move. Cause they got a lot of rappers on their grind too. So I chose to be different just to shine through. I was in the hood hustling just like you. But I did it in my way from a different view. While you was in the streets making all the packs move. I was in my room crafting out these rap tunes. I ain't assimilate to them. It was bad news. Plus I learned from Gwendolyn what happens when you chance June. Lessons learned from lost ones, how I came to be. I was told I had to be the change I want to see. Uh, 
Somebody told me I was taking long. Sorry, but I never noticed that the time is on. Somebody said they want that real rap. Told them, don't worry, I'm gonna bring the feel back. I've been waiting for something real to touch my soul. The world is waiting, so forget what you've been told. Been a long time coming like blue balls. I don't do too many songs for these cute bras. Let's be real, mom, nothing like these new frauds. Everybody's dead me, baby, I'm the new raw. Yeah, we can do a lot of things that come to mind. But I ain't really in the club scene all the time. So I gotta leave. Damn, I know you're fine. But I'm on the path. It's back to the grind. Okay, okay, now back to the team. Back to the lab where we living out our dreams. See me and Keynote on the track making steam. Working like giant and we trying to battle the machine. The streets say the rap flow is stink mean to mean. I'm proving that these geeks ain't as square as they seem. The representative, so the words I conceive are just a reflection of the ones who agree. Uh, yeah. Somebody told me I was taking long Sorry, but I never noticed that the time is on I heard them say they want that real rap Told them don't worry, I'ma bring the feel back I've been waiting for something real to touch my soul The world is waiting, so forget what you've been told Oh, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting so long So while the rich get richer and the poor don't grow, the willful in the rent tell you that they don't know. We spend a hard earn that we blow it at these shows and they taunt us in their songs, laughing at us cause we broke. Since when it became cool to be Goliath, why every starving artist gotta rise to be a tyrant? But I divert from it, putting fuel to the fire, cause I learned from grandmother that the devil is a liar. The powerful conspire, but they don't even notice how the meat's growing tired. The temperatures are higher, the rebel forms a cause, the wicked get exposed and the barriers dissolve. The mighty shall fall. Nah, this ain't a fight, this is war. We no longer ignore all the plights of the poor. I once had a dream, and the sight that I saw was a new amazing me bringing light to the sore. This is prophecy at its core. A wise man told me that he's seen me before. He said, maybe you the one we've been waiting on. I couldn't help but step back at him in shock and awe. Wow. It's crazy. It's a blessing. <laughs> you ever felt like you just been called to do something? You know? Back. This is the Mile Bracer Radio Show. Hey. Shout out to Chris B. Too. Yeah, why why does dude always want to sing along with the beat? I don't know what's up with Rage, man. Rage got crack in his veins. Are you done? No, he's not. You good now? Straight. All right. Anyway, we're back. This is the It's Finally Getting Cool in the DFW edition of the Mile Bracer Radio yeah, Show. Yeah, that's something to fucking celebrate. Fuck yes. that shit, man. I like hot weather. I like fuck that shit. You like hot weather, why? Because I hate I hate cold. I just hate the opposite. The only thing I like hot is a chick in my mouth. Hey. Cosine, yes. Thank I you. agree. I anyway. So yeah, my um, Huh? What? What? Not me. Anyway, okay. Um, I'm introducing a new feature on the show. What the fuck is that? And we'll do it from time to time, but um, only the grimiest of the grimy can get this recognition. So I won't force this issue every week. So only those with a, uh, only those exceptionally grimy motherfuckers can get this award. All right. Okay. So I haven't really even decided on a name for the award yet. But anyway, you um, the grimiest nigga I know, man. I can't say that. Really? Yes. No, literally, he can't say I that. I can't say that. Wow. Anyway, so. Oh, you first can't th- say that, can you, Chris? <laughs> first, the Cowboys beat the Giants. Now this. Who? 
First the Cowboys beat the Giants, now this. Two. This guy, David R. Kiger Who? of Kiger. Dallas, is getting a grimy salute from us here at the Miley Abrazer Radio Show. Grimy. Wait, wait, I want to make sure I know what I'm saluting first. It, it gets better. Okay. Um, now, it does. Now, now, note this. All, if not most, of the following is based on court documents. Nice. Hey. Okay. I love it already. Yes. This gentleman was banging out a young lady named Brenda Gail Jarvis of New York. Banging out Brenda. And during their stint as a couple, Brenda came up pregnant. Brenda had a baby. <laughs> hey, I didn't <laughs> even think about so that. so many different levels. Yes. Uh, she took the G-like approach, though, and told him, quote, he should decide what, if any role, he would play in the child's life. Shout out to Brenda. Yes. Having a baby. Now, David R. Yes. Kiger should just got rid of that shit. Told her he wasn't ready to be a father and she should get an abortion. But Brenda wasn't trying to hear it. Oh <laughs> fuck all that. Yeah. So David R. Kiger went to his ace in the hole, no Uh-oh. pun intended. Wait. And dropped the Von Hippel Lindau bomb. Whoa. What, what is, is this, that? you ask? Yeah. Well, to save awesome. you a trip to Wikipedia, it's a rare genetic disorder. David R. Kiger told her Von Hippel Lindau disease ran his family. And the kid could come out with balance problems and weak limbs, and that there had actually been a stillbirth in his family because of it. So Brenda, well, reluctantly, went and had an abortion. Brenda didn't have a baby. No, Aww. she didn't. She Aww. had a she had like a, a a quarter of a baby or a third of a baby. Or anyway, right. so right. David R. Kaiser did what most men at, in this situation would do. Plan he for soon broke. No, he soon broke up with her. And went and found a younger woman and planned to have a family with the new girl. That's nice. how the fuck yes. you do it. Now, Brenda found out, <laughs> confronted him, and asked why he's not worried about the genetic disorder with the new girl. And when David R. Kaiser couldn't give her an answer, she figured David R. Kaiser lied to her to terminate the pregnancy. What? He see, wouldn't do that. See, now, David R. Kaiser had signed a confidenti- confidentiality agreement oh, with no. Brenda to keep the abortion secret, agreed to pay her for her silence, and agreed that neither party could make disparaging comments about each other. I like bitch, take this money yes. and shut the fuck up. Exactly. Now, David R. Kaiser couldn't keep it to himself. Oh. Ah. Yeah, and he told some mutual friends about their relationship, the abortion, and her attempts to extort money from him. Oh. oh. Yes, it gets grimier. Oh, but uh, no, wait, it gets worse. <laughs> Brenda claimed that this was a breach of their contract, and she... and. Had she defended herself to these mutual acquaintances, she too would have been in breach of contract. So basically, he's like, he's going to talk shit about her, and she can't talk shit back. Right. So after admitting that he, quote, may have told people about their ordeal before the agreement was signed, David R. Kaiser offered to pay Brenda $741,100 for the embarrassment. Brenda got broke off. No, hold on, no. Brenda didn't get broke off. Uh Brenda claimed that she couldn't live in Dallas anymore because of the maltreatment she was getting from everyone everywhere she went, and she couldn't agree to the $741K. What the fuck is wrong with Brenda? She decided to sue for $2 million. Oh, hey, Brenda's smart. Yes, for breach of contract, defamation, slander, and fraudulent inducement. So... Grimy as, as David R. Kiger is, his attorney told Brenda that either she comes up with documentation saying she had an abortion or she'll be sued for the alleged extortion. Mm. So congratulations to David R. Kiger. We salute you in all your grimy glory. I'd also like to retroactively give Larry Dunn Jr. the grimiest of the grimy award for last week. Oh, The guy you? who stabbed the girl in the neck for giving him HIV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. You the grimy snake I know, son. So you know, there's a lot. Of, you know, there's like more. To, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on with that story too. And there's a lot of crazy stuff going in this yeah. city. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I anticipate by the end of the year we'll have a, a grimiest of the year award. Grimiest, grimiest nigga I know, son. I can't say that. Damn. I'm gonna get you one time. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm so your old president run. No, nah, no. I mean, you're not gonna get no Eminem mixtape in the oh. source action on me. <laughs> anyway, oh, okay then. Yes, you're not. So anyway. This is the Mildly Abrasive Radio it Show. Is. This is the 730 edition? Not bad. Not a bad idea. Nice. How about that? Yes. Um, we have news. Well, no, we don't. It's not new. It's a song. <laughs> it's an ADD song. We played it before, but you'll like it because we told you to. Because it's the shit. Yes. This is Mama's Brother, and we'll be back. This is the Mildly Abrasive Radio Show. It is. It is. Damn it. Damn it. Motherfucker, do you? Oh. Mm. I we Damn, why you gotta start cursing and shit? Why you gotta be? Because I motherfucking cuss when I motherfucking. You're not gonna cut the mic. No, I want to hear you curse. Oh. Yes. Chris is a cunt bag. Huh? No, why? Why gotta be a. What? 
You said you wouldn't hear me cuss. I don't want to hear you curse me out. Well, shit. damn it. I just had Asshole. to make something up. I you am. I am. Yes. Because I drop shit all day. All in the mouth. Fuck you, toilet seat ass niggas. That's a really what? Rap. What? <laughs> I'm just going to let him. I'm just. You, you hear that? No. That's okay. the sound of P. Dying you guys are gonna get to listen to me dream. I was, I was, I was just a young nigga, didn't give a fuck. Rollin' with my aunt, get that nigga drunk. Now I'm over 21, he give me liquor duck. He treat me like a son, I should hit him up. Yeah, I should hit him up and say what's up. Fucking with my uncle, already know what plays a blunt. Chasing sluts in that place of truck, making paper runs. It was fun, now I think of it. You would think I'm son and say, what a resemblance. I remember when I was young, get would play with guns, cause you get the shit. Now I'm grown, I can't blame you for all my ignorance. In a sense, man, you know you wrong. I was only six, let me sip on that cone yet. Yeah. Let me hold your cat. Only once in your whole stack. Man, that hoe was fat, what no ones. All I seen was huns, just from slinking. Crack, singing that at the age of time, put me in the frame of mind. Hustle never slack and the take whatever's mine. He say, Make your mother mad, and I'm straight and go behind. Straighten up your spine, let them know you got backbone. He told me if she fine, go ahead, get your Mac on. Yeah, put the strap on, trust no hoe. All they want is your cash dough, but fuck po po. Man, he just don't know. Like him, I'm an asshole. Living the fast, like reminiscing. I was just a young nigga, didn't give a fuck. Rollin' with my aunt, get that nigga drunk Now I'm over 21, he give me liquor duck He treat me like a son, I should hit him up Yeah, I should hit him up I was just a young nigga, don't remember much It's been a minute, I ain't seen you in a couple months When you gon' visit, we should kick and roll a couple blunts He treat me like a son, I should hit him up I remember coming to visit, grandma was still living Uncle was a street nigga, we would kick it Drive me through the city, I thought he was the coolest Riding in that ragged Mustang with no roofers We do this, used to dip off in his weed stash So that he thought that I was smoking it But now I didn't blow that A OG crip ass nigga, go figure AKA a slick ass nigga, gorilla Had me round them cap pillars and them dope dealers He wasn't the influence I was needed But he was the only manly influence I was seeing Uncle Nick did a 10 year run shit He just came home in 2001 shit Hadn't seen him since I was one shit And to you this may sound like some dumb shit But my biggest influence is a convict Cause I was just a young nigga didn't give a fuck Rollin' with my aunt, get that nigga drunk Now I'm over 21, he give me liquor duck He treat me like a son, I should hit him up A radio show. I, I, that, that was kind of dope because I kind of fucked with that. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're enjoying. Damn, why does this dude want to sing every time? Uh, he has aspirations uh, or delusions uh, of grandeur, maybe? Uh, he has dreams of being an R&B. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, <laughs> dreams of being an R&B bitch. A B I C T H. Anyway, this is the Miley Bracer Radio Show. This is the. Um, 730 in the building, bitch! Edition of the Miley Bracer Radio Show. Right on. And so, um, you know, Rage wouldn't shut the fuck up during the song. Okay. I was trying uh, to I, I got something to so, say. So I now, got something to say. Can, can I say something? I got something to say. Now that you're on the air. Fuck no. I got something to say. Um, you never well, let's to say. talk about 
Little's Holloman favorite rapper, Chief Keef. Let's go, Chief. Let's talk about Chief Keef. We talk about Chief Keef. Let's talk about Chief Keef. Chief Keef, right? Um, he, he just can't stay out of trouble. You know, he, he did that shit where he was um he was making fun of the dead kid, mm. and then he did some other shit. And now this week or last week, he got he got banned from Instagram. And why is that, wow. right? He got banned from Instagram for posting a inappropriate picture. Now I got it, it on sound, my computer it screen because like I, I got the picture on here. You actually, sound like a dick yeah. You want pig. anybody want to want to put a close up on this picture? Um, I'm not sure if I want to. He 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 got <laughs> he, he he got he he posted a pic of him getting a, a, a fellatio from a um from a young woman lady person um i mean i'm just gonna check her skill level you're gonna check a skill level yeah wow. um and you know it, she's know that, she's okay well fuck it i mean it's uh, already there it's after now <laughs> yeah. it's too late so um you know i know her yeah Do you? yes <laughs> i know her well <laughs> barely so well. does he you know i really think that it's all a plot like i don't believe this guy chief chief Chief, Chief Queef, Keef, Keef, whatever. Yeah. I don't believe this guy is like, is this ignorant? Dumb. Yeah. Is this dumb? I you know. It. So I think it's a ploy for him to stay relevant, even though he hasn't even put his foot in the game yet. He's just trying to get in the game and be relevant. I think. And you know what? You Could, can we? We can't. We can't blame him for that. We can't blame him. We're all trying to be relevant in the world today. So, but I got. I got. I, I want to. I hope Chief Keef is listening now. Chief, Chief Queef, Chief, Chief Leaf. The motherfucker gonna kill you, Chief. Pretty much, he gonna be like, "Raise your mighty want to be just like us." Ha, India, ha, ha. Who, whatever, whatever I mean, his name is, whatever his name is, I I, I, I want to give I, uh, I want to give him some advice, Chief. I'm gonna give you five ways to stay relevant. Five ways to stay. Five relevant. ways to stay relevant for Chief. Queef. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. All right. Number five. Um, Chief, you need a you need a new addiction. You need a cool addiction. Like you know, like you are I already. I can see it in your future. I can see that um, you're going to be on something a little later. But, you know, let's start early. How old is he? Like, what, 16, 12, 16, 17? 17? Start early. I say you do bath salt enemas. Wow. Bath salt enemas. What? I think do something brand new. Don't do, like, don't do crack. Crack crack is whack. You know, do some new drug. Bath salt enema and rap about that shit. That's, that's number five. Okay. Is that G-like? Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, Number four, <laughs> um... I could tell by your actions that you don't have a fucking father. I'm fucking speechless right now. I could tell by every. I could tell that you don't have a fucking father. So you need to get get somebody else who is also irrelevant to mentor you in being relevant. And possibly, since we're such a sick fucking society, you want to see people fail. We want to watch that shit. Possibly get a reality show. So Chief Keith. Holla at Flavor Flav. That's what oh. I was about to say. Holla yes. at Flavor Flav. You know what? You know what? Yeah, what is what the idea. fuck is Coolio doing right this moment? Smoking crack. Probably yeah. get that dude. Well, last time we heard of Coolio, he was like France. He was like pulling down his pants on a cooking show or some shit. Really? Like yeah, he was doing some. He was doing some weird shit. Show. You know, Coolio was doing some weird hey, shit lately. Holla at sausage. Coolio. Holla at Flavor Flav. Who else could we get? Um, you know what? Got it. I got it. I got it. This, this is, is it. Hard. This is it. You ready? No, no, no. This is it. This is a show I would watch. Bobby Brown. Yes, yes. Chief Keith, call out Bobby Brown. He can mentor you in life. Um, number four, um, <laughs> of course, what everybody does is stay relevant. You know, it's it's sex so easy. Tape. Sex tape. Yeah. Make a fucking sex tape, Chief yeah. Keith. Well, you know what? Isn't that what so, Instagram was? I was just about to say, in, in that, his attempt with Instagram. No, no, no. But, but that's what that, that, that was his problem. He made a sex tape and the sex pictures with an unknown chick. You got to get somebody known, you know, and just like and just like my, my previous one, you got to get somebody who's like also who's I'm also talking. hanging on a thread. Bobby Brown. Not Bobby Brown. No, 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 not Bobby Brown. Not Bobby Brown. Not Bobby Brown. I say get, get, get somebody that's some unexpected. Like go go holler at Susan Sarandon and dust the ass. Wow. Wow. Go go holler. Go Goldie, Goldie Hawn. Hawn. Yes. Get Goldie, Goldie Hawn. Hawn. Goldie Hawn. You know what? Fuck that. I got it. Wait, I think I saw some Goldie I got Hawn it. titties no. today, man. Like not recent titties. They were like past titties when she was like. Yeah. yeah. I got, I got it. Okay, ready? Bridget Nielsen. Yuck. Knock one in a Bridget. You know what? Get Bridget Nielsen pregnant. Knock a hot one in Bridget Nielsen. Hey, if she'll fuck Flavor Flav. She'll, she'll fuck, fuck yeah, Flavor Flav. Yeah. She'll fuck anybody. All right? Yeah. Now, you know what? No, fuck all that. I got it. This is it. This is it. You need to. I'm pregnant. 
get pregnant. You know, you need to get pregnant. You need to get Lindsay Lohan pregnant. Yeah. She is one. begging for it. She always she wants to. She, she, she is she begging for it. You know, that's what she needs in her life. You both need each other. Yeah. You need her to keep you relevant. She needs you to say that you raped her. And beat so and she beat can her. still be in court. And, and some black guy or some dusty park. ass black dude from where, where the fuck is he from? Chicago. Chicago. Wisconsin, Chicago, whatever. I said Wisconsin. <laughs> like, like he needs, she needs, she needs, yeah, bust a hot one. Just, just, just go up in Lindsay Lohan Raw, bust all in that shit. The, the, the <laughs> dude, he gonna is go that Lizzie. safe? Hold on, I was about to bust say all in that shit. You know what? Lohan and Raw, and this shit's just gonna like evaporate. It's gonna be no, like that's that cool. That's cool because. When he comes across that line, just yeah, but but you know what? But you know, on that note, look what hepatitis C did to did for um, Pamela Anderson, and Kid Rock. Um, fucked them up pretty good. No, no, I, I mean, but you know, they're they're, they're, yeah. they're on top of their game right now. You know, you just don't realize they are on top wow. of their game right now. How was that? They they are they are they are famous train wrecks. You know, Chris Rock. Or what's the Forever. other guy? The, not Chris. Not Chris Rock. Chris Chris Rock. <coughs> Chris, Brown. Kid Rock. Oh. Not Kid Rock. The other dude. What's the other dude who was on the boat with her? With Pamela Anderson, what the fuck is her name? He was in the band. He was in um Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Lee. Lee. Look yes. what hepatitis C did to Tommy Lee. He was he was gone. We wasn't even fucking thinking about Tommy Lee until hepatitis C. So go bust the hot one and Lindsay. Lindsay Lohan. You know what? Fuck that. <coughs> That's what hepatitis C goes to. Not Lindsay Lohan. Chief Keith, if you want to stay relevant, Very true. you want to stay relevant in the game. Kardashian. Make a sex tape. This is it. This is it. Frank Ocean, nigga. Make a sex Whoa. tape of Frank Ocean. That's Whoa. what you need to do. <laughs> Holla at Frank Ocean. Whoa. Make a sex tape of Frank Ocean, and then you will stay relevant. That's what you need to Whatever. do. That's it. That's it. You go see how deep that ocean is, all right? Uh. All right. Ask Miguel. Whatever. Okay. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Chief Keith, you want to stay relevant? You need to stop doing all this dumb shit. Stop talking about dead people. Stop posting um, blowjob pics of n- nobody-ass chicks. And put it on Instagram. Fuck all that shit. That chick is gonna sue. And you know what? And you know what? What he was doing? He thought he was beefing with Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco sent out a helping hand. He said, "You know what? You know, I think he needs to do all this, that, and other, whatever. Fine." And and he dissed him. He said, "He's he when you see him, he's gonna kill him or some shit on 300. I don't know what 300 is. He's, it, almost, he, he's a sound, Titan. Yeah, is he, is he a, a Titan? Yeah, he's a Titan. He's a Titan. Yeah. Titan. He's a he's a Titan. Whatever. Okay, fine. You need to beef with people who are. Can beef be with fat. somebody who could who could take you somewhere because people expect you to beef with rappers. Beef with people who aren't rappers. You know, beef with Michael Kors. No, 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 no. Call out Willow. Beer? Call out Willow Smith. No. Call out Willow Smith. Or even better, say some defamatory shit about Willow Smith. Have a sex tape with Willow Smith. Whip her hair <laughs> back and forth. That's disgusting, okay? The disclaimer is going up. You right are now. disgusting. You guys are <laughs> disgusting. Beef with Willow Smith, all right? No, fuck that. You know what you need to beef with? This Diggy is it. Simmons. No, no, no. This is it. This no, is it. No you, If you want to stay relevant, Chief Keith, beef with Tavis Smiley and Cornell West. That, Call them out. Call, yeah, that would be ask he doesn't Cornel, know who they are. <laughs> no, exactly. Ask Cornell West why he dresses like he just came from the Harlem Renaissance. <laughs> he does. I heard somebody accused him of dressing like Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to stop being a Frederick Douglass stunt double. All right, yeah. you know, ask to have a smiley. You know, just ask. Tell him to smile. Shit, his name is Smiley. Whatever. All right. Anyway. All right, but the number one thing you need to do to stay relevant, Chief Keith, and you need to you need to just get your life together. Okay, go to school, um, read some books. <laughs> Mentor some kids, you know. Um, mentor, mentor some kids. No, no, I'm telling you, after he... after wow. he, how you shoot a No, gun. no, look, can, can you fucking listen? Look, no. I'm saying after he, you know, I'm saying recently, you know, go to school and be a positive role model for some children, all right? And do this before 2013. Do all this. And then fucking kill yourself. Drink the Kool-Aid, kill yourself? Just kill yourself. It'll be, it'll throw everybody <laughs> off. You know, it'll, you know, if you kill yourself, you're doing real good and then you kill yourself. You got a reality show. You got mentored by Flavor Flav and Bobby Brown. You done busted a hot one and Lindsay Lohan. You done got a sex tape with Frank Ocean. You called out Willow Smith and Tavis Smiley and Cornell West. Then fucking kill yourself. And then you'll be immortal. You know what? From the bottom of my heart. What the Chief fuck? Chief Keith, I just want to say, you're welcome. 
And on that note, I think I just got teary eyed. That, you know, that, that was really heartfelt. That, that, that too. touched me. That was really Look, heartfelt. I, I'm a mentor to young children. I'm a mentor. You know, I try to do my best. You know, I don't usually say kill yourself. I don't usually I don't usually suggest that for anybody. Usually, I just say go find an open grave and wait. But you, Chief Keith, you you're 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 a douchebag at a young age. You're like you're a used tampon of a human being. Like right now, <laughs> like you're only 17 and you're a shitty person. And he said you were accidental ski. You're an accidental ski. You know, you are an accident. You you should you shouldn't have happened, okay? You should have been swallowed. So what I'm saying is like old girl did. I don't know if she did that. I didn't show in a picture. But you know, do good about it. Then do good. Read some books and mentor some kids. Then just off yourself. Everybody will be like, What the fuck? He was doing so well. Oh man. They they might give you a street in in Nebraska. Where the fuck is he from? And, Chicago, and, Chicago. Where the fuck? They'll actually take those pics and shit. Well, they won't take them down. But you know what I'm saying. Every time they pop them up, somebody not many people they'll put them on T-shirts. Very people, very very minimal people, will say something in your defense though. Yeah, yeah. Very very minimal. He's a good people. man. Chief Keith, look, I'm just trying picture. to keep you, don't you say relevant. Something about look, look, the I could be a publicist. I could be a publicist. Anyway, on that I note, we're going to listen to some music, and we have uh, 7.30 in the building next. Um, this is actually the new single off of 7.30's album, oh, which really? drops next week. This is Mysterious Business, and we'll be back. This is Mindly Breast Radio. Go show. pick this shit up. <laughs> Says you Mises are simply pathetic I don't play favorites Anybody that's spitting can get it You factor it Straight off assembly lines You double fountain with them corny ass Wimbledon rhymes Dancing like an extra Michael Jackson's remember the time Probably why you whacking Why your pockets are slimmer than mine Oh it's about the lyrics It's not about the cheese Then why you up on iTunes Trying to sell a CDs Peddling your merchandise Talking about all your degrees You trying to get rich off a of rap Just like all of the G's and all of the players, and all of the thugs, and all them cats that talk about trapping and selling them drugs. Your sweater's too tight, your jeans are uncomfortably snug. I'm pasta noose with a pistol, you rappers get plugged. One. Zero. From the south, I'm whipping my microphone, I'm from from here to Dallas. My music is, it's never stoppable. Bitch. And I'm in trip, trip, you can be, 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 Microphone, my phone's from here to Dallas. My music is, is never stoppable. Hey, yeah. 
feeling you can be, 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 I feel like giving up, my temper sucks, if you didn't know that, you didn't know me, that will listen up, sometimes it get kind of tired of rewriting lines and getting caught up in this hype and trying to survive it, a game where a million other niggas do what you do and they all claiming that they hot shit, what make you the top pick, let them know your name, make them respect your gangster, stay peace, but keep bangers in the chamber, fuck the rest, always out do your best, and when you're right, try to master saying more with less. less. See, rappers want for niggas to caress on they finesse. But see, they all got ghost writers. Right. I guess they just possessed. Niggas turn to gods. They reckon so the best. But if you ask what's on their mind, they never speak in golden text. Uh, I give a fuck about a viewer's choice. Cause all I view is moist. No need to speak further to prove a point. Your main concern is giving yourself the extra push you. Mastering your craft and push back when they push you. Go ahead, let a hater talk. You need the niggas too. Cause they ain't gonna be shit anyway Too busy focused on what you do yeah. Keep the needle in the groove When you need to stick a move to MCs Strike them in the heart Twist your wrist and pull yeah. That's just some shit that you would do if you was me Biggest question you should ask is Would you do this shit for free? Free Free Sexy voice on Cause my voice is real sexy when you hear it You know I could really put a, a really good sexy voice I, I practice my sexy voice all the time See how we just cut his mic off Anyway this is the Miley Bracer Radio Show And we are back <laughs> That was the new single off of se- our, our guest in the building tonight, 730's new album, uh, Heaven's Computer, and we have in the building. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey. Hey, Littles. Hey. Tell this nigga eat your dick, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma- matter of fact, <laughs> tell him to eat an AIDS patient's dick. <laughs> no. Hey, man. It's, it's, it's a running joke that, you know, we get we get you and, you and y'all mixed up. And then you just say, hi, I'm 730. Yeah, what's up? Chilling, man, you know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. How's marriage? Man, marriage is fucking awesome, man. That's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Fucking Damn. that shit, man. What, what if he didn't want to me. talk about marriage? What if but you know what, though? He just plugged his wife, so shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a double entendre. <laughs> Don't shoot he me. He said that's a double entendre. <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> Don't go no further. So. So. 7.30, what, what's yeah. been happening with you, man? Uh, Lots of things, man. Wait, lots of things? Uh, lots, oh, do yeah, tell. Lots, lots of... Uh, I just recently uh, got signed to Mellow Music Group. What? Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I saw that. Out. The home of uh, the home of the mighty Gensu Dean, Gensu Apollo Dean. Brown, uh, Odyssey, okay. right? Uh, the Black Opera. Uh, nice. I mean, a bunch of bunch of bunch of heavy hitters. Man. That is that's right. a heavy that's a heavy roster right there. Yeah, man. For a second there, when y'all promoted it, it said signs to MMG, and I was like, what? For oh. real? <laughs> I was, I was like, like, yeah, that's, that's yeah, kind of dope. yeah. I mean, I've and, I and I've been sending them my my music forever. Like, you know, I've Which been mellow it. music or Maybach, Maybach music? music, Maybach music, really? You, yeah, you I don't the, know if you uh, can. Well, you know, I do have one. Uh, no, it's not even the what? I don't no. think there's any. <laughs> it's not even just that. You know, I, I don't think there's any possibility. I'm really good yeah. at. I could, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody has to give him mammograms. He said he just oh, wow. I'm really, <laughs> I'm re- I have really gentle hands. You know, so. I could give Rick Ross I'm a mammogram. Very K- uncomfortable K-Y. right now. <laughs> KY. Not KY, no. Icy hot. Uh, oh, <laughs> God. So, back to 730. So, you yeah. signed with an MG, and <laughs> yeah. when you signed recent or shortly after, you dropped the mixtape, correct? Yeah, that was, that, was a re, uh, that was a rekindling of an old flame. Nice. Uh, I like how you worded yeah, that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was, cool. uh, that was a mixtape, I think. That was a mixtape I dropped in 2009. Uh, called uh, Late Night Sessions, which is literally what it was. Just a bunch of late night, you know what I'm saying? Spits. That's a real you know sexy I mean? name. So, yeah, man. You should see the cover. I'm like, got on my, my David Ruffin on, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, Can yeah. we see your socks? Not not like now, but on Wait, the cover? Huh? Huh? No, you can't see the socks. I mean, back in the day, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, I thought you meant you just wanted to see the socks. It's a, it's a, sh- it's a shoulder up oh. shot. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, you said you got David Ruffin on. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> well, we've been planning. Who was like also it's from Mississippi. You're from Mississippi. from Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. And so was David Ruffin. Nice. So was a uh, uh, pair of feet. Wow, we're learning no, no, a lot no, no, about people today. He's from Memphis. I think. Oh, he's from Memphis, yeah. Memphis, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Shut the fuck up. Ray, uh, Rage Lewis just has like all kinds of incorrect facts. Right. Right. I don't know. Always. Right. So they're not facts if they're incorrect. So, so, yeah. so what can we expect from this? So what can we expect from this new album? When does it drop? Uh, there's a new album that I'm dropping, and it's called <laughs> Heaven's. It's called Heaven's Computer. Okay. Heaven's Computer. Uh, 
Is it a it Mac comes or out. PC? Oh, it's definitely a Mac, buddy. Okay. Uh, coming out uh, next week on the 25th, which is uh, Tuesday, I believe. Uh, it is, because I have an interview that day. Actually, yeah, right now, work. right now the album is being streamed Live. for the week at on uh, Spin Magazine, man. Nice. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. Dope. Actually. Good yeah. shit, man. So, Spin that was a surprise, man. Like Everybody that. go pick up the Spin just this one time. Yeah, man. Spin, Spin. I like Spin, man. Spin is dope, man. If they go pick up, I the really spin, like spin right now. They can't listen to the magazine. Oh, we'll just go it's online? all digital. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's digital. digital. You know what I'm saying? You go there. It's on Spin's first list in Heaven's Computer. Okay. Did a nice little write up too, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good look for the city. A lot of uh, a few folks are getting national recognition there. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, you have an event? Yeah, I got an event coming up too. Are we invited? Hey, I got an event coming up. That's great. <laughs> it's uh, it's on the twenty fourth. It's at Cush. 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 I'll that's, be there. That's where Lord Greenville is. That's I mean, that's where think. Cush is on Lord Greenville. It's not what's in the car. Uh, Monday night is is that Monday night? Uh, with Jay Clip. Jay Clip gonna be Jay spinning. Clip. Up this yeah, that's my homeboy. Also from Jackson. In the motherfucking house. Wow. Yeah. Ah, so is this um, is it gonna be a listening party or are you gonna? It's gonna perform? be a listening party. I am not performing. You are not performing. I repeat. Because I got to say, you know, um, I've seen you perform a number of times. And you, Sorry. You, you <laughs> 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 You're welcome. Um, and you, you know, you actually you put on a great show. I always got to uh, uh, commend you. You are very energetic and you always come up with something new and fresh. Actually, last time I saw you perform, you had a cowbell. I did have a cowbell. And Bruce Dickinson wants more cowbell. Yes. So, and I really appreciate the fact that you just brought Need a cowbell. Need more cowbell. <laughs> yeah. And you are very energetic. You put on an awesome show. Awesome Thanks. show. I'm glad man. you feel that way. I do feel that way from the bottom of my heart. Awesome. That's why You're I was kind of hoping you was performing because I haven't got a chance to catch my No, I'm not performing, G. About it, though. So, I'm not performing, man. So, when, when's the next chilling, time you are performing? Chilling, I was just about to say that. Smoking hookah, eating, eating, Smoke eating phone. some, eating some, some food. I, s- I mean, Chris smokes hookers all the time. Yes, he does. Yeah, with my pistol. Damn, you smoked a hooker? Yeah. Damn. So, <laughs> you know, the next show that you have. She overcharged on, right? me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next show the next show I have, y'all will definitely know about it, man. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Well, if you ever need a stunt double, I mean. We got to pee over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, pay, just pay me well, man. You know what I'm saying? Can, can I get some help take a for the bones, you know what I'm saying? interested to know what, what kind of stunts. I don't know. Hey, anytime you pull a groupie, I can like pause, you know what I'm saying, for the yeah. double for you. You trying so to ruin like, this well, man's yeah. reputation. Well, no, I'm well. trying to save this. Well, hold on. I'm trying to help him build his character and save his marriage at the same damn time. Right. That's not a bad idea. But See, you're going to ruin his reputation the with the groupies. Well, wait, like, a wait a like minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ugh. Yeah, I got to be untouchable, though. Trust me. We flip the lights off and we double out in the dark. You flip the lights off. They can't see you at all. <laughs> and we double out in the dark. Your name's going to be hot in the streets, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, well, do not let him fuck your name up. For real. I'm not going to fuck Mr. Your name 30. Up. Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> Mr. That'd be bad. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually my Skype name. I like it. It is your Skype name? <laughs> Mr. 30. Nice. It should be, yeah. it should also, never mind. Yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. Nice. Nice. Good. I want to hear some 7:30. You want to hear some? 730? I want to hear some. You have them right here. More 7:30. Well, we want to hear some music from 7:30. Some music from 7:30. Yes. What you want to hear? That. That. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna listen to some some 7:30 music. We'll be right back. This with 7:30 a radio show. Yeah. Um, I don't know what song should we listen to. I have. Oh, you know what? This is one of my favorites off that last mixtape that I've been playing like it's new. Okay, oh, cool. That's what um, the fuck it is. Yes, it's rocking with the best. This is the Miley Brace Radio Show, and we'll be back. Yeah. The illest nigga in the brass guy. Denim in an ass guy. Straight squatting on your team and pissing on your mascot. Laughing out loud, a half ass and cast. I got gas in a matchbox. Gas mask and glasses. Classics in a stash box. Rats pass, mad shits. They in the school of hard knocks, but can't pass their classes. F, you rap like hip hop's D student. It's my red pen that don't like you. Chances they won't bite you. Chances they won't try to. No time to taste off whack lyrics. In case y'all can't hear it, don't flip on my lines to have for these rappers to have on my too. Hit them on times the rap city and in Apple iTunes. CD, baby. See me crazy. See me lace these whack rappers and laugh as I pass the mic to them. Feed these. 
these babies, defeat these ladies, see these razor slash rappers in half as I pass the mic through them. You first heard how the instrumental sounded, but the beat was so fat you couldn't wrap your head around it. I'm guaranteed to spit the words first, first, tally up my punchline so you can see how much my words work. Uh, uh, we're now rocking with the back. I'm feeling honorary, I promise he probably not wanna see none of me honestly. I spit these homilies humbly, and I tell you how fun it be if you front of me, you fumble in front of me. Geeking, you tried to see me once, but I caught you blinking and blew your brain out your head so fast you were still thinking. Catch the picture, I'm Jack the Spitzer, I'm back to get you. I back my ish up, you just put out waste. They tuck in their rhymes when I landed, they had their face. They must have forgot that we had hoods and out of space. I got your CD, took the blasted thing back, cause it was capital case whack before I touched the cellophane rap. Straight magic to the track and staying black with galactic space raps in your face, facts, face flat. You are now rocking with the back. And we're back. Uh, this is the My Little Radio Show. We're back without somebody telling us we're back. Hi, everybody. This is a dick. My name is Rage Almighty. I'm going to point that out. Um, hey. So, we're back. And this this is the Mildly Brace of Radio <laughs> Is my show. mic off? No. Oh. You're just really loud. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're back with That's the 7.30 30 edition of the Mildly Brace of Radio Show. It just happens to be we have 7.30 in the building. Hi. He's hey. 7.30. Hey, I'm 7.30. Yeah. So, um, so, I read all... It? Yes, he did. Say it one more time. Hey, I'm 7.30. Yeah. Great. That was so great. Chris, what were you saying? Yes, um, I read online that you're actually uh, going out of town coming up, correct? Yep. Where are you going? I'm going to ATL, shouty. Oh, ATL are you going to the thingy thing thing? We're going to the A3C, which I uh, still don't know what that stands for. I don't either. What? All coasts. All three coasts. All three coasts. Okay, really? I just learned something. New brain wrinkle. Well, New you know, uh, yeah, I, I heard I like AC3 that. last year was insane. A3C. Really? Yeah, it was dope, man. AC3 is kind of a big deal. That's yeah. really dope. So, so you're getting some stage time at AC3? Yeah, oh, A3C. Shit. When you, when you go are you yeah, correcting I, I me? Perform, yes. <laughs> I, I performed last year on, on the joint on the uh, on the perfect attendance stage, but now we'll be in the mellow music group lineup along oh, with really? all the all the heavy hitters. Right. So it's gonna be some serious when you when you get a load of this, it's gonna be some serious shit. I wanna go. When shit. this baby hits eight to eight miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. That's the I don't know what future. that means, but That's I like it. That's the future reference for you yeah. guys who don't know. I know. I mean, I got it. jerk offs who've never seen it. Rage. I love Back to the Future. That's actually one of my favorite movies. And ever. he loves to jerk off. And I love the jerk off. Back in the future. Hey. I like to. I like to <laughs> jerk. I like to jerk off the old magazine, so it feels like I'm jerking off in the time machine. There that you got go. weird <laughs> fast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It gets worse. <laughs> wow. So this guy, yeah. So a a three, I I do it too. A three C, a three C. I really want to go. I might y'all might see me out there. I it's, don't know. it's so dope, man. Or it's, you know, I might just pop up on y'all and be like, hey, I'm crashing into your hotel. It's room. dope. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like a ticket price. Anybody know? Or <laughs> I like that. I like that, Chris. I like and that. I, and I look over at, at the, the manager. At the management. What's what's up, management staff? You got some room <laughs> for two? They high. He said they high. Yeah, with <laughs> like the them rooms. Tickets, them tickets. Oh, them tickets. And he said they high as Kush blunts. Yeah. Shit, I got free miles. Yeah. yeah. Three miles yeah. where? Free miles. Free miles. Yes. Free booby miles. So, the album, Tuesday. Yeah. What if I want to buy it now? You can. Really? Hey. You just can't listen to it now. Oh, what? I can you listen can, to it streaming. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, so you can buy it now Uh huh. on iTunes. Right. You, you go to you go to fucking iTunes, and you search you know Heaven's Computer. Heaven's Computer. Heaven's Computer. Uh, and it'll show up, and you can pre-order that joint, which I really need. You know, a few more pre-orders, man. It just makes me look good. You know, they. Uh, I like what I see in the mirror, but I personally don't think I'm very attractive when I see myself in pictures. So pre-order that shit on iTunes. Wow. Um. 
do, was do we, very do, should we low self esteem? Should we talk Pre- about pre-order that shit on iTunes? We, um, no. I, no. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pre-order that shit on iTunes. <laughs> Heaven's computer, go to I, uh, you know Google. www.itunes.com. Yeah, yes. and, and 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 fucking search. You know uh, what? I'm Heaven's gonna, computer. I'm gonna pre-order, and pre-order, I'm gonna pre-order that your shit right yeah, now. Yeah, do it right so now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> and that's just gonna right bounce. Yeah, it is. A card can't bounce, so, so it and, will overdraft. And you also got a. And you also got a, you know, the streaming which you can listen to in the meantime. Stream you know it. what I'm saying? Until uh, on the Spin Magazine site, uh, spinmagazine.com. Uh, and, you know, the album drops Tuesday. So know? if they if they're unsure if they want to buy it, they can listen to it, see that it's dope. Word. And, and then gonna, buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah then yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Then tweet him at. It. Yeah. At the number seven, <laughs> E-V-E-N-T-H-I-R-T-Y. You know what? I have been trying to You're basically spelling out 730, and instead of an S... It's the numeral seven. Even number 30. Seven. Yeah. No. <laughs> 730. You got a Facebook uh, you want to plug? Uh, Facebook.com slash the number seven, E-V-E-N-T-H-I-R-T-Y, which is my personal page. And then the personal? band page, my you know, my music page where you can like, you know, keep up to date with all the shit that's going on with music. All the shit. Uh, all that shit. Uh Facebook.com slash the number seven, E V E N T H I R T Y slash M M G. You know or, what? Or just M M G, no slash. I am greatly disappointed in myself. Why? Because it's so simple. His his Twitter handle is so simple. His Facebook's so simple. It's and I haven't found simple. him to follow him or friend him. You suck because I, yes. I follow him. I don't know about these guys. You do. You do. I follow 730. I couldn't figure awesome. it out. I don't think Seven everybody follows me. It just kind of makes me down a little bit. He has a reputation to maintain. So what is it about me, 730? Oh, you heard it. What is it about me that that makes you not want to follow me? I don't follow you? Is it because I drunk tweet? You tell them. What I follow you? Is it because I drunk tweet a lot? Is it because of the pictures I post? It's because of that look in your eye right now. Is it because of the pictures I post of myself? The pedophilic pictures? Yeah. Do you not like the pictures I post of myself? Pedophilia. And I'm just wondering, you know, I, I'm taking it. Lately, I've been taking it real personal. People BCLG. don't follow me on Twitter. Yeah, you just said BCLG. That's BCLG. bad. That is bad. Yes, that's horrible. I mean, I, I just want my followers and following to be even or one to be greater than the other. And it's not. One is greater than the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not greater at all. The greatest one isn't greater. I want one to be great. And the I'm great killing sis- his mic in. Five, four, three, yes. Two, so any features on the album? Yeah, I got some features on the album. Tell too. me, Rage Almighty's not on there, please. I'm featuring. Uh, Why am I not on the album? Seven thirty. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. Not. Um, <laughs> I got. Com- <laughs> I got a. Uh, I got. I got Kamikaze on the album, who's one half nice. of Crooked Letters. Uh, Crooked oh, Letters shit. is, is yeah, the group, yeah. uh, you know, from from David Banner and and, and, and Kamikaze. Where's uh, he from? Jackson. Jackson, Mississippi, homie. I got Gensu Dean on the record. Uh, I got 5D, who was also a Bob producer Dizzle. producer of uh, one third of the album. Uh, I've got Lori Walker, who's a fantabulous, actually a gospel singer. But I got her to get on a, get on this track, man. It really blessed it, man. It's like it's it's really one of I my favorite tracks. Gospel singer, and she blessed the track. I can see what he did. That's then I got, <laughs> <laughs> then I got uh, who else? I got Money Stacks from uh, Vicious Cycle. Uh, Work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who else? I got. I got <coughs> Coke Boumaye. Who? Coke Boumaye. Oh. Kill Coke. Yeah. And so uh, he's also from Jackson, Mississippi. Real street hood ass nigga, and I love him. Then I got uh, I visualize, uh IV, who was a uh, part of my camp, uh, Mosaic Dialect. Uh, he's based out of uh, based out of New New Jersey originally. That's what a killer. Jersey. Yeah. And so uh, who else I got on that joint? Uh, I got Headcrack on there. Headcrack's oh, on there. Yeah. Get Headcrack the gets on this on the mic. You got me on there. Yeah. And I got Sleepy Will, who's that's also that's from that's Jackson, like Mississippi. He's right. staying on the West Coast now. That's and that's then that's also on production uh, is myself. And then uh, I got Eric L. from Sweden. Wow. Who's also on production. Who, who, uh, on who mastered the album. That's yeah. the guy you met online? Yeah, met him on MySpace, man. 
You know what's funny? My the guys space. I meet online. MySpace. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You met him on MySpace. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, can you stick around for a little while? We got a discussion coming up. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. Well, we got one more 7.30 song, I guess. Yay, we can play. more music. 7.30, I think you're awesome. And I like what you're doing. Thanks, I really, I, I really like it. Thanks, I like honey. everything. I think you're Ask awesome. Kiss. Um, I think you're awesome. Is that better? If you, <coughs> seven, you good? Yeah. The, okay, okay. Awesome. Anyway, so this is ASR10, and we'll be back. This is the My so Little Boys Radio Show. Stop following me on Twitter. Yep. <laughs> Yes, yes, say the word. Yes, yes, say the word. Yes, yes, say the word. Yes, yes, yeah. say the word. Let's yes, take that yes. first part and loop it. Say the word. No, yes, I, can, uh, yes. I can work with it. Say the word. Yes, yes. Yeah, I got it. Say the word. Here we yes, go. Yes, yes. Alien, invader of the crossfader, fader, mess around with this MP3 player generator on my MySpace page. Uh, niggas lag behind my mind cause my brain stays laced with space age thoughts, the skills will break you. What? Back in the day I just talk on simple break loops and now we're rip stage and mohawks and silver space suits. Uh, Still apply for your label and get hired just to have you fired and slap the shit out your ghostwriter. That's more fire to rock a while in a blaze. If I am ever overspoken, I oppose to go quietly, quietly. screaming my head off from about to let off another round that is let off until you till your head soft and i ain't talking no hollow tips from a pistol nope. the broken sentences from the broken tips of my pencils lock and load them i rock them sock them robot with rap rock and roll quotes i pop till they stop the show oh a bold new artist with an old school soul a whole new arsenal for those who oppose style funky like who farted but no one truly knows you get a clue blew your crew through the roof dr suits loose new to mutilate your crew brutally you horton here's a who MC? I'm chicken noodle soup for MCs that said they were sick and me. How clear could it be? I wreck it while the producer just did for records. When I'm through with you, there would be no use for a dental record. Unidentified, surprised if you're still alive. Cause I shoot the kill unless otherwise specified. The pain bringer, the slim slang slinger, the sticky swift street sweeper, one serious little stinker. Critical thinker, the wrong type to feed off. Making niggas choke on the style. Cause every time they bite, it just go down the phone pipe. So they don't breathe. Closed throats, face froze, fits and nosebleeds. Blaze those hits, make you think that he smoked weed. Straight sober spits, make an idiot OD. Such audacity, you don't even know me. Makes no sense, like a hoodie with no sleeves. Rookies with no steeds, no, they cannot win. I'm locked in his room. Talking with this ASR 10, but it don't talk back, it just boom bap. So I answer that with some of that pill you cap back. That killed the track, smack, pass the track back to you, but your mind went blank. Now I got a feeling that gap, damn it. So don't dedicate to what you can't manage, and don't hesitate to press the stop button while I'm still rhyming if you can't stand it. And we're back. This is the Mildly Bracer Radio Show. The yeah. abruptly ending song radio show. Suicide. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, bring back to the Why Mildly Abrasive Radio Show. Uh, we got uh, 7.30 in the building. We got uh, Chris P. Local Celebrity. We got a little Holloman. In and, the uh, building, We got bitch. Rage Almighty. <laughs> Mildly Abrasive Radio Show. Is that your Petey Green? Like, you should do voice That's over right, God <laughs> damn it. Did you? So this week. Fucking Petey Green. And we're, we're having 7.30 sitting on this. Fashion trends and other shit you are glad are gone. I'm gonna oh. say cross color, man. Man, fuck I, that. I fuck cross color, cross dope, that son. Shit, fuck son. that. Really? That shit look horrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. So you just got attacked. So you motherfuckers are trying to say if y'all seen one of these little ragged ass box wearing motherfuckers running around today in cross colors, you wouldn't be like, what? I'd ask when they got that them shit. Up, really? Son. Yeah, I would dap them up. Let me find some cross colors. I seen an old crackhead looking chick about three years ago wearing a cross color jacket. No, it don't look good on everybody. Yeah, I think it was an original cross color. She had it since like. 88. So she still got the original coffee stains and shit on her? I don't think that's coffee. I don't think so either. Yeah. I just wanted to be nice to her. Yeah. This is doo-doo, babe. <laughs> 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 what about wearing clothes backwards? No, Am I showing my age? Yeah, I'm through with that. You're really but showing I, age. I, I, I did I think that was exceptionally deaf. Did you? Back then. The word deaf. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, I thought that was deaf. You know what? I, I, I fucking hated when it was out. And, you know, I, Chris, I know... You are a fifty. You were. I know you were a fifty cent fan. We knew each other when I went to college. I did. A I brief, know. Actually, I was gonna wear my G Unit shirt just because. Of I, that. I did. I did. A, I did a brief stint in college. Believe it or not, it's crazy. It, it was. It was strictly for the, for the money and the vagina um, and, the, and the pussy and the food. Um, but Chris used to come to college, to school, wearing a faux bulletproof vest. 
No, oh, people didn't like shit. me. It was real. No, no, he, he, yes, he used to wear a bulletproof vest. Like when Fifty Cent first came out, and he had the bulletproof vest on, really? and everybody was wearing bulletproof yeah. vests. Like yeah. you wearing a bulletproof vest, but he got the shit from J C Penny and a wife beater with the uh, with the like motherfucking um, the little halter top looking. Yeah, with yeah. the yeah. 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 like yeah. You know that's something I'm glad, glad that to see gone. disappear. Hey, yeah, yeah, that was that be was like big hurt head niggas wearing that shit. You know, I'm glad I'm I'm fucking done with um I was fucking done with with Fat Albert. I was done with Fat Albert before Fat, Fat Albert, Albert even Fubu. got like Fat Albert Fubu. Fubu you know, in general. Fubu in general. They still sell Fubu. You know Fubu. what? Fubu was cool. I, I can't even say Fubu, but the Fat Albert shit just got out of hand. My homeboy has some Fubu shoes he got from Walmart for $20. Nice. They still do. Recently, yes. yes. I think nice. the one thing that I'm happy that has not really went out of style because it'll never go out of style, but the actual promotion of this item is the black tee, tall tee. Oh yeah, the tall tee. Yeah. Yes, tall tees were like dresses if you put a belt it's on. It's like them. Alvin and Chipmunks, like meets. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> meets <laughs> Megan Air Force One. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I'm glad it's gone. I had one of them. For real. I, everybody just said yeah. we had one. Chris, you did too. Fat, bad built porn stars from the '80s. What? You ever watch an old school porn and be like, "Damn, I wouldn't fuck that bitch at 3 a.m." <laughs> <laughs> You're a liar because I've seen the chicks you she fuck at like 12 a.m. She has like a big bush. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She got like a couple extra rolls, a couple surgical scars. You know what I'm Whoa. saying? I, I don't see name? anything did wrong you, with saying that. Did you catch that, that in the credits? Because I know you saw the end. This is you we're talking about. <laughs> huh? What? I said, did you catch the name? Because I know you saw the credits. Because I know you saw the end. Hey, this is you hey genius. They usually put the, the names <laughs> and porns at the beginning of the of the movie, not at the end. They do show them at the end. Some yes. Them. Damn. Um, you know, Lugs. Yes. Didn't understand yeah. that Bird shit. Man. Did it, you know what? They were they were nice and affordable. I can't talk shit about lugs because I supported the fuck out of some lugs. The Birdman lugs though. The bird, not the bird. I, you yeah, know what? what I'm saying. I'm I stopped cool. wearing lugs when Birdman wore them. And I was like, I'm done with this that's now. Like a fucking that 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 shit just didn't. What the fuck was that anyway? I don't know what it meant, but you know what? I remember when I first moved to Dallas from Boston, and I I and bought, I had Carl Knies. Oh, Carl Canai was a shoe. I had Carl Canai shoes. Right? Carl Canai was dope, and so was uh, Maurice Malone. Not here. Yeah, Apparently not here. I got teased because they said they look like space shoes. Whatever. You had no oh, limit the shoes? apparel. Yeah, you can't no. wear them. Yes, no, 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 I had no, Carl Canai no, no, no. sneakers. No. Oh, Carl Canai no. did a little sneaker stick. Hell no. Now, and I was like, but these are Carl Canai's son. And they were like, no, they space shoes, B. <laughs> and yeah, I got I, I get teased in high school. You got teased on what was it called? Here, Iceberg? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah Iceberg. Iceberg. Oh, Iceberg. Snoopy. Is oh, that the one with the Snoop and, and the Goofy yeah. and shit like this? Yeah, I'm glad that shit's done. Yeah, that was bad. You know what I'm glad to see go? What? Uh, I don't know if this was necessarily a fashion trend, but it's something that always just kind of bothered me. The, the little balls of hair on the side of... Uh, Anthony Hamilton's face. <laughs> <laughs> what, it looked like it looked like he had pubes on his cheek. What was that? I mean, was that like was that advised? Like, yo, you should go out. Like, it's yeah. just, just something that always yeah, yeah. Scrub this hair on your face. So you I, go I, out there I and see to the ladies. It just always concerns. I feel, and you know what? Um, I'm glad that um, what's his, what's the mayor? What's his name? The mayor of Dallas. What's his name? Mike Rawlings. No. Yeah. The other guy with the car, they all have cars. The, the yes. car with with the with the uh, the car with the Michael with, Knight. No, <laughs> he he got in trouble recently. The black guy, the black guy. But anyway, had, oh Ron Kirk. Anyway, anyway, really? you know I, I don't you don't you can't trust a grown man with braids. Oh, oh yeah, not the yeah. mayor. That's um. John you mean Wiley. like over John over Wiley 30, Price? Over you know, 30, I'm glad John Wiley Cup braids. Price got rid of his braids. Over Did 30, it? 35 with braids. Salt and pepper braids, money. Yeah. Salt and pepper, yeah, you know. Fucking both it's, no, it's like son, it's uh, like ludicrous. John Wally Price, what's that basketball Sean, player? What's, what's, AI? The, what's, what's homeboy? Uh, Sean, Sean, uh, Sean Paul, Sean. Yeah, Sean from not, from Young yeah. Bloods? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, the, the reggae, uh, reggae, reggae homie. Song, nigga. Yeah, with the yeah. with the braids that started here. Yeah, yeah. The John Wally, and it it's now called John Wally Price braids. It's crazy because I don't know if they know each other, but the John Wally Price braids start like in the middle of the Jerry Christmas Rice had them. And the thing is, Jerry and the thing of my, my issue with Shy braids is people, the people with braids always try to be sneaky, but they have like beads at the end of their braids. You can't be sneaky and have beads at the end of your braids because I hear you. Yeah, I'm glad Ray doesn't have beads at the end of his dreads anymore. Hear him coming. I never had him. I hey, never had him. You know what uh-uh. I'm glad is dead? The uh, little socks with the ball on the back. That was shit. Just yeah, what was that about? Yeah, that shit. Just what about the socks with the stripes on the top? Like the two stripes? Yo, oh, that yeah, was hot. Yeah, the two, yeah. two joints. Yeah. yeah, that was hot. 
Like if you got them in certain colors, you can't. You do had like to get all, the you had you to get the joints like, with the stripe that go all the way up the whole side. Right. And yeah. All the way shit, up. The, all the way like the baseball dope. shit. You can't. Yeah. Do like, you know what I'm saying? But like you can't. It can't do it be like base, regular sock. length sock. Yeah. With a stripe. The your ass be clown. You know what I'm glad is do- is gone. Yeah. What's that? Reaganomics. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> maybe 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 <laughs> crack like this. <laughs> Maybe I got I got too deep for I, I thought Rage Almighty would have something to say about that. But is it gone? Um, kind of. Reagan's Rom, gone. Rom, 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 is Reagan gone? Yes. I think Reagan is alive. Really? He's out there we in your abdomen. <laughs> um, leather shorts, man. I don't know what the fuck was Those going on in gone. Dallas. Though they're not gone, no. they need to be. Uh, you know, you I can't declare. Wear I, you know what though? I, I I bought me a pair of leather shorts, man. Wore them hoes one time on a hundred and ten degree day, and <laughs> That's I, I retired them hoes directly after that, man. Yeah. You can't. I mean, like it's something about chafing your balls, man, through yeah. your boxes that just so attractive. They had to have shorts. made a paste. Remember when girls g- g- girls would wear these those like these fucking that. um these fucking uh uh Frankenstein boots platform yeah, shoes. And they'd be like red and pink. You could get them for like for cheap, like at Walmart Six or something. You're talking Walmart. about what were they called? They were like slippers, but they were like platform Jelly, slippers. Jellies? Is that what that shit is? They were fucking uglies. That's what the fuck they were. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I can't stand that shit. That's, you know, I'm glad it's gone. Huh? Landing strips. You know what I'm talking about? Landing strips? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, bald is the thing. Yes. We're talking about vagina hair. Oh, oh you about, wouldn't know anything oh, about that, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> you no, know no, 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 like no, 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 because, you know, I like, he's, he's I like, like I, I don't like any grass on the field, you know, gotta, you don't like the landing strip? No, man. The uh, landing strip's fresh. It should cool. chafe my belly and shit. <laughs> it tickles my nose hair. <laughs> and oh, wait a minute, time out. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it comes a little too high. Sometimes she lets it go all the way up to the belly button. <laughs> Not oh a guy. Yes. You know, you know, I, Chris, I know. You know, Chris you know, and, I, shit and, and, and the you thing know. is, like, I had, I had, I had, a, I had a grill at one point. I remember that. And I lost it in the landing strip. Damn. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can lose shit there. I lost, I, I lost, the, I lost the, um, a cap. She had a high time. <laughs> so lost a cap. It, looked, it looked like kid lay down, right? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. Oh, la, oh, la. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought, I thought I was, I thought I was going down on buckwheats. Back of Buckwheat's neck. But you finished, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> what did it taste like? Chicken. Yeah, let's change. Let's change. <laughs> let's change directions. Um, you know what? Next I'm, slide, I'm, please. I am so fucking done. Um, you know what? I'm glad lace fronts are over. <laughs> that shit, <was laughs> that shit, jokes ain't, on that you. shit ain't over. <laughs> hey, that's not. That Men are wearing them. Oh. Yes. Um, Coogee. I'm, I'm glad Steve Harvey stopped wearing this shit though. Michael Jackson oh. had a lace front for real. Shit, um, Coogee, I couldn't stand Coogee. It looked like a My Little Pony threw up. It's a Cosby this, sweater. This coming from a nigga that wore Calkinai shoes. What Coogee? It's a Cosby sweater. I couldn't fuck with Coogee. You know, um, I got a Coogee button now. Wow. I got yeah. a Coogee polo. You got? I shop. I get, I get my clothes slightly irregular at Marshalls. Thank you. Yeah, you know, yes. yeah, I get my I get my clothes in Traders Village. Hey, look, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I'm guilty of this. I am very guilty of this. I used to wear the fuck out of some bathing apes, and you know what? I didn't know what the. It's like you think of the name, you're like, wait, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, bapes. I want to fuck out some bapes, like Soldier yeah. Boy. Those those uh, uh. That's what it stands for. Yes. Yeah, that's what bape stands for. Those leather shoes and shit. Damn. Yeah, I mean, because you know, Pharrell fucked Bathing with it. Bathing apes. Pharrell yep. fucked with it, so I thought I could fuck with it too. Um, I, but I still fuck with Echo. What? I will still fuck with Echo. Where Echo you from? Underwear. Huh? Where you from? I'm from I'm from North Dallas, Texas. N- no, no real originally. I'm from Boston. Thank you. Okay. See, he just just Echo was the shit. I have an Echo shirt in high too. school. It was the shit. <laughs> 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 Jinkos and shit. Oh, I guess it depends how old you are. You know what? Fucking echo. You know what? It, it, it's rare I say this, but I will not fuck a girl wearing a jersey dress. And I'll I fuck will. anything. Seriously. I was, damn, that was a grand admission. Well, watch right your there. back, P. No. You get one of them tall tees and put a number on the back. I you better watch your back. I <laughs> yeah, but I, I fuck a bitch in jersey dress. The and jersey and, dress? And, and, jersey. The, and the Air Force One shoes. The Word. heels. Word up. You know what I'm glad You look like style? that type of motherfucker, though. Uh, yeah. Somebody got a little skanks. Oh, you're right. Thank you're you. ex, you're skanks never go out of style. Right. I love skanks. Um, Skeezers. Remember, the cu- remember you used to cuff your jeans back in the day? You know, you know yeah. 
Don't we used to stuff your jeans to your socks? Every no, no yeah, I, I, never was about did to, that. I was about I never to say did that. That was some East Coast shit. I thought that was some South Dallas shit. No, nah, no, nah, I mean we did. I remember when I left Boston, they were doing that shit, and I got caught here. They were like, "What the fuck's wrong with your?" Now, do you mean tight roll cuff or just cuff? He means stuff in a sock. You like, mean like cuff, like like straight, like tight around your ankles, kind yeah. of cuff? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> yeah, that shit was horrible. No, I never did that. I mean, I, I like cuff my, my jeans if they were too long. Yeah. And have a sharp crease in them. Crochet Man, the only braids. Sends my balls. Isn't that what you got? <laughs> crochet I, I braids. Up, Aren't those crochet braids? No, they're those not. Are crochet braids. Oh, no. 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 I thought no. you got a blind girl with they're a crochet not. needle in. They're not. They're she wants to. They're not. They're not. That's not. It's not That's funny. Nice. No. That's not. That's not funny. I thought it was a little amusing. It's not funny. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was kind of amusing too. You know, I, until until I met until I met Chris, I thought the Forrest Gump cut was just done. But apparently, it's <laughs> the Forrest Gump cut. Forrest Gump cut. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Mother. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad mullets are gone. I'm glad Soul Glow Jerry Curls are gone. Soul Glow Jerry Curls. I'm yes. glad the black mullet is gone. The shag. It's that back. is not gone. It's yeah, that shag, the shag is. Oh, it's just went and hit in, in West Dallas. No, no, no. It's back. It's it very much yes. back. Mm-hmm. I see it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Because when, because when I first ah, moved to Dallas, I was like, "What the fuck is a booty? I was why do you want it on booty. your head? Yeah, that's what's going. <laughs> they, they why wouldn't you yeah, want yeah. a booty on your head? It was called a booty. It was like you know what I'm saying. It was a shag that was cut short in the back, bro. So why wouldn't you want a booty on your head? Like a hairy yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's listen to some music. One one last so thing I'm glad is over with is Rage is gay for paydays. Anyway, this is the Mildly Abrasive Radio Show. This is QP Long Time Coming, and we'll be back. QP. So on my shit right now, bro. Sweat it all. No time to stop, no Been a long time coming, man. Went from nothing to something, but now I'm having things. It's been a long time coming, man. Used to be lit in my pockets, but now it's on its mind. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming, man. Went from nothing to something, but now I'm having things. Racks on top of racks. I done see stacks on top of stacks. These niggas won't know nothing about that. Nah, and see, I remember way, way back when I had to ride that dark. And DJs would not spin my track. Now everything that I touch, they say it's their favorite song. Now every bitch that I fuck, she say I'm her favorite bone. My money long. Well, okay, even if it ain't, it's still growing. Money making weed blowing the syrup poem. Shining on these niggas, got everybody knowing. I'm doing a little better than I done did before. Feeling like if I won't, I could fuck every hoe. I stayed down and kept it real, now let it to the toe. And see, I've been working, nigga. So everything that I get, I feel I deserve it, nigga. Deserve it, nigga. Huh? And when I'm round, they nervous, nigga. Cause they didn't hurt a nigga. Get on every track and murk, nigga. And when I try, it's on purpose, nigga. It's been a long time coming, man. Keep clean. Went from nothing to something, but now I'm having fun. Been a long time coming, man. Used to be let in my pockets, but now it's on its mind. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming, man. Went from nothing to something, but now we have a thing. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Went from nothing to something. Now when you see me, I'm stunning. Remember catching them buses and riding around in that bucket. Now we dropping the top with just one press of a button. Then we smashing out. Ain't no more paying down payments. We just cashing out. We real niggas and bitches love how we swag it out. Used to be poor, but we ballin' just like the marriage now. Ask about me, I'm pretty sure your bitch bragging about me. And if she bad, then she probably look. Looking real bad without me She's Trying to picture herself Shotgun up in that brand new alley Got her training in so much money She can't even count it Now she can't even count it Hey, yeah It's been a long time coming, man Ain't too much of nothing change You know I just do my thing Yeah, pull up in that 
Pluto man. Used to dream of having things. Now my paper stacking man. Hey, it's been a long time coming, man. Went from nothing to something, but now I'm having things. It's been a long time coming, man. Used to be nothing in my pockets, but now it's on its mind. It's been a long time coming, man. And we're back. This is the Mile Abrasive Radio Show. Excuse me. Everybody, Jim. Shout out to Seven Thirty for coming through. We appreciate Shit. you coming through, man. He's on his Goodbye, way. Out. 730. Goodbye, Seven Thirty. Goodbye, T. I hope you follow me on Twitter now. That's very creepy, Rage. You really need to work on that. Hey, anyway, Chris. quickly. Hey, Chris. I yes. got one thing for you. What is uh, tonight at uh, Viva La Vida? You know what I'm talking about? The Supper Club. Off no. of seventy five Supper Club, no, in Spring Valley. No. Well, they're having that's uh, free venue that night. So, I just wanted to let you know that. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I so, don't. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, all right then. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Mr. Fucker cover charge is back, and I still don't give a fuck about a cover you charge. Know what I'm saying? About anything. Anyway, so normally I don't promote. Events that make you RSVP, but you have to RSVP to this one. The only reason I'm doing it, because it's a free Scarface concert. You! Yeah. Oh. Shut up, Rage. <laughs> anyway, so, if you want to go to the Palladium tomorrow and see Scarface, the rapper from Houston, like, you know. H-Town. Where? Top five, dead or alive. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, all you have to do is go to GentlemanJackABL.com. GentlemanJackABL.com. And type in your age and your... Other information, I don't know. And they'll text you, and you text back, and then, bam, you have a free pass to get into the concert. And they give away free alcohol. So not only are you seeing a free show, you're getting drunk for free, too. You're getting crunk and drunk for free, no? That's not right up Rage's Alley. No. Somebody's going home with a fat girl. I don't know. Shit. I mean, he this goes guy. home with a fat oh, Well, damn, yeah. Huh. yeah. Anyway, so uh, well, one hey, last song. We'll be back. Cute, though. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I've seen now maybe I've seen you with some cute fat girls, but then I've seen you with a few busted few. We just gonna we just girls. gonna strip that from your memory, Chris. Really? I if you had that little flashy thing from Men in Black, that, that shit would be, be dope, wouldn't it? Man, like you would, like, girl. I you know put I would. It I would, I would yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, damn, yeah. You'd yeah. go in there and give her like the wackest ass ever, yeah, and, and then, then like, she thinks you're like, yeah, then hit it with along, yeah. dangling, whatever. Anyway, so we'll be back. This is my anniversary radio show. Drink till I'm drunk, drunk. smoke till I'm high. high. Grinding for the paper till that morning multiply. And I'ma drink till I'm drunk, drunk. smoke till I'm high. high. Grinding for the paper till that morning multiply. Yeah. Let me blast off, dry my ass off. Come and last, dog. See an eye, dog. Cause that's some shit there that I can't see. Get some poetry, you know what me. Streets echo every word, every ounce, every bird. For the cash, these suckers on the curb. Hard not scholar, I know how to make a dollar out of 15 cent. Slang an elephant arms, I am the bomb, so be alone and get you some. Say it's cool, cause I got plenty more. And I got plenty flow. Roundhouse kick, go there, roll another stick. Arms, good shit, it just might do the trick. Stupid, dumb lit. Triple D, I'm on that big money shit, I'm on that big Shit, nigga, big paper, you already know it's cracking, nigga. I'ma drink till I'm drunk, smoke till I'm high. Grinding for the paper till that money multiplied. I'ma drink till I'm drunk, smoke till I'm high. Is it for you? We're back. Uh, that, that, that's him. That's him, not all I, I, black I, I, people, I, I, you I, I, fucking douchebag. Yeah, and we're back. This is the Mind Liberation <laughs> Radio Show. This has been the 730 edition Dick. of the Mind Liberation Radio Show. Just because we had 730 in the building. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Disappear right now. <laughs> Damn, such Sorry. Yes. I am Chris P, local celebrity, and in front of you on the right side of your screen is Lil Solomon what and up? Almighty. They make a cute couple. Um, so it's about that, that time so for funny. shout outs and fuck offs. So we'll let P go first. Shout out to Deep Element Air, my mama, my daddy, uh, Tamara, 
And then my brother. Wait, did you say your daddy? I said my mama and my daddy. Okay. Check off. <laughs> and <laughs> to niggas with braids that they have no papa. Right. Uh, shout out to um my goddamn self, and that's it. Okay. I'm um, shout out to 7:30. Shout <laughs> out to everybody watching. Uh huh. Yeah. So the fun part, fuck offs. You know, I actually oh fuck off to Gatorade for not making a bigger bottle. Thirsty. We know you're thirsty. We we saw it when Monique was here. <laughs> Man, ooh, ooh, Nick, Nick, when she come back? I don't know. She she told me she was actually a little scared of you. She thought you were gonna hump her leg. I was. Yes, I know. So rage, fuck offs. Uh, fuck off to everybody. That's it. Damn. Wow. Okay, fuck off to the rubber band that's killing the circulation to the top of Little's head. Work. Oh. Fuck off to cement trucks that kick up shit and hit my car. Yeah. And fuck off to. The other 53%. I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with it. I, I can co-sign that shit. You want you a car? You co-sign that shit? You want a car? I can co-sign that shit. Um, I wouldn't get the car. Uh, hey, I just said I co-sign. I didn't say you get the motherfucker. I'm just saying I wouldn't get the car. What the fuck? Thanks, you and T, for fucking up my credit. You and T fucked up your credit? Oh, yeah. You and T was the only thing that fucked up my credit. How's that? Because you didn't pay your tuition? Hey, shut the fuck up. Oh, so you still Oh. Yes. So when you went up there and you heard Mean Green, you thought it was something totally different. Yeah, man. Didn't nobody warn me. But you know what, though? Chris, guess what? What's that? I got a job. You got a job? I got a job. Congratulations. C. How long you going to keep it? C. C? C. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going to keep it? I'm going to keep it for at least a year. Okay. Would you like to share what it is? Um, be a waiter. Really? Where? Sawgrass. No. You fat bastards cannot have the hookup. Sawgrass where? Richardson. Spring Valley? Yep. Wow, that's not Richardson, is it? Is it, it Richardson? It's Richardson. Well, it's Richardson, but Dallas County. Duh. Hey, all of Richardson ain't Dallas County. Some niggas find out the hard way. I did. You thought it was Richardson County? No, no, no. Some of it's Collin County. <coughs> not mm. much. Some of it. The important parts are. The parts that get your ass taken to jail. The wrong way. The wrong way. The wrong way. Is there a right way? Yes. Um, Dallas. Uh, I see. I'd rather go to Luke's area. Really? Yeah. Uh, you catch, you know, you, you got love in there, huh? You, no. You, you get your hair braided, sitting between his legs and shit. And wow, get Chris. It sounds like you're trying to project your. Um, I've never been to Luke's area. Oh. Sounds like you have. No. Sounds like you have plenty of um, experience. No. I'm a ride 20 We'll be back next week with. Uh, we'll, we'll be airing people out next week. How you feel yeah. about that, Rage Almighty? Let's do it. Let's do it. So much energy in Rage Almighty's voice. I do it. Okay. Hey, we'll make sure everybody follows you on Twitter. Wait, did you get that text that said that you're not going to get nothing out of something? Did he want to tell you he's not going to get nothing? Y'all play the fucking song? Anyway, this is Milo Bracer Radio, so thanks for tuning in. Check us out next week. Bullet wound right up on my jaw, don't let it scare you. This was for the radio, so read between the lines. I'm the type of guy to lay a bead between your eyes. Representing Texas, but I ain't got a grill. Catch me in the field, I got to pay off these bills. I ain't got a cuss and it still be street. Cause I'm pavement from here to my feet. This flossing to be done, best believe I'm now. I'm a F double O. With it, I swear I'ma tip my cup, I'ma blow my trees I'ma ride 20 some sums under my caprice I'ma fool with it, who with it, 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 I'ma stun for the broads, catch hate from the guys, still slam, catty dough, nah, they suicide I'ma fool with it, 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 fool
my collar Cause I'm already knowing life's good If you would, you can join I'ma till my cup, I'ma blow my trees I'ma ride 20 some sums under my caprice I'ma fool with it, who with it, 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 with it, for the bros, catch hate from the guy Still slam catty dough, not a suicide I'ma fool with it, fool with it When you're stopping at the light, then you a fool with it. You a fool with it. And if you're running around robbing cause your cash ain't right, then you a fool with it. You a fool with it. And if you got windows dropping four or five screens, you a fool with it. You a fool with it. And if you're sleeping at the light cause you're going on the lean, you a fool with it. You a fool with it. Twisted black and I'm the last to go. Two place the track told me hit the gas and go. I ain't met a cat yet that can match my swag. I ain't met a cat tough enough to catch my mag. I'm the truth in the booth, call me Genesis One. Street free, spit the gospel like a minister's son. And I ain't lying one bitch, y'all can check my rep. I hit the pen back to back and I ain't lost my step. I'ma fill my cup, I'ma blow my trees. I'ma ride 20 some sums under my caprice. I'ma fool with it, fool with it. I'm a fool with it, who with it, fool with it, who with it, fool with it, who with it. I'm a stunt for the bros, catch hate from the guys, still slam catty dough, not a suicide. I'm a fool.